This is Twit. If you have a thread border router, which Matthew and I have in the past talked about this on our show uh, that we used to do Smart Tech Today, uh, a thread border router is a device that serves as sort of the 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 bridge between thread. Uh, enabled devices on your network and your Wi-Fi router. So an example of this would be, I have uh, some lights behind me, this this light that's inside of this lamp uh, that's behind me, and then also the light strip that runs around the back of that cabinet I have behind me are both thread-enabled devices. I also have this Waymo um scene controller that has three buttons on it that is thread enabled. And what happens is the these devices, they talk to a HomePod mini that I have in my office. And the HomePod mini kind of serves as the networked brain of these uh, different devices in my home. But with thread, thread also will make uh, different sort of always on or always powered devices routers or bridges themselves. It's, it kind of gets into depth, but essentially with Thread, what you have is a network made up of a bunch of different devices that communicate and sort of create a mesh network. And so the more devices you add, the better the network actually gets versus how things work right now, where if you've got a Wi-Fi router and a bunch of Wi-Fi connected devices in your home, as you add more, the system starts to get overloaded and it doesn't work as well. This works in the exact opposite way. The more you add, the more of a mesh network you're creating and the more ways you can reach out and these devices can communicate to one another. So um, as it stands, the different devices in our homes all have kind of different versions of thread and different versions of um, the different protocols that allow these devices to communicate. So they aren't able to do the communication between one another. Well, Thread 1.3.0 is now out and it is going to help to let these devices communicate with one another. So an example of this is uh, the Nest Hub Max smart display, the Nest Hub second gen smart display, which I also have behind me, but you can't really see it. It's uh, tucked, there we go. Is, is right back there. Um, the uh, Apple TV 4K, the Apple HomePod Mini, um, the latest Echo, uh, Eero routers, and some of the NanoLeaf devices, including in this case, that lamp has a NanoLeaf um, Nano bulb in it. But anyway, all of these devices, when they get updated to support this latest version of Thread, they will be able to communicate with one another. And that is what matter is all about, actually. The idea- That's what matters. <laughs> that's what matters, bing, 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 uh, is that these <laughs> devices can all communicate with one another and uh, be able to, then I could tell the Echo to turn off the lights, or I could tell my uh, HomePod to turn off the lights, or I, it, that's the idea. We wanna be able to have all of these devices uh, talk to one another without you having to be um, on one specific platform or another. So this is a really exciting thing to see that this update has come. Um, and also one of the other things about uh, Thread 1.3.0 is what's called streamlined over the air updates. Uh, so what happens is, um, you can update firmware on Thread enabled devices and you can do it at the same time without it affecting the performance of the network. So firmware updates aren't gonna be this thing where everything has to kind of come to a, a stop and everything slows down. No, now all of these devices can be updated remotely and you don't have to go uh, you don't have to go next to your so an example of this is that right now when one of my uh, contact sensors on my door needs to be updated. I have to walk over to it so I'm within Bluetooth range to be able to do that update and then stand there until it's completed. No, 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 no. With Thread 1.3.0, if you've got a Thread enabled device, then it will update without you needing to be right next to it. Very cool. Um, it seems and like, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It seems like overall this kind of ties in Thread's like initial growing pains and kind of like I don't know the metaphor to like cut them off where it's like if you had two different thread networks, they weren't initially or two different devices with thread, they weren't initially designed to work with each other. And now they can 
just like it, the whole protocol was designed originally. And then plus like now we're starting to see the benefits of thread where it's just like you have this whole smart home network and you just need to tell your device that needs to be updated and it can bounce through the thread network and get to that device rather than like this whole smart home network actually just being a bunch of standalone things that you have to go around and update manually. So it does, it does just seem like, Oh, this is kind of, it's kind of like one of those things that you're like, great. Now I don't have to think about this anymore, but that's kind of, it's like people don't believe that the smart home is like this. And so it's a weird, it's like a news thing. That's like this thing that sect is no longer exists and you're just good to go. You don't have to worry about this anymore, but it's still important to really, know that this is actually the progress is happening and it'll be a lot smoother going forward which is great yes and this is I our agree. our guy jonathan who i think that's how you say his name right yep. that's, we yep. actually talked to him on smart tech today about threads so that's where we uh, know a little bit about this <laughs>